Hello everybody, I'm Mike Levin, and today I'm going to talk about the technology education that I propose giving everybody who has time to follow it. So first we're going to talk about an effect in life where you're standing here, you're going along life, and then you're faced with choices. You could go one of several different directions. And based on the uh, path that you choose, life takes an entirely different course. So you choose this, now it starts from here, and then you can be faced with an entirely different set of choices, which is different from above, and so on, and so on, until such time as the path you've taken is wholly unique, and it could have gone infinitely different ways, but it went the, the way that you took. And we'll draw that flag swooping down. It's the finish line. Checkered flag, and here you are coming into the end. So, my technology education deals with the variety of choices you're going to be faced because one of the largest effects is starting out, you're not very technical, a giant question mark. It's actually paralysis. Because there is so much to learn. There's going to be the advice to go with Java and .NET because of where the jobs and the enterprise are. Then you're going to hear about PHP because it's easy for web programming and Facebook is based on it. You're going to hear about uh, Ruby because there's this Ruby on Rails that started this whole easy programming framework movement. And you're going to hear more and more about JavaScript because now it can be used on the server as well as in the web browser. And it's in often times thought of as the one language to rule them all. And then there's people like me who are big fans of Python. So there's just so many choices. And someone starting out, how do you even know uh, where to start? Well, I'm going to be teaching the very, very deep underpinnings of technology. I'm going to tell you about the things that's in common no matter uh, what you um, do, which is basically switches. So I'm going to talk about switches, and then from switches I'm going to talk about um, operating systems, which in particular is Unix and Linux because those created the um, computing explosion, really. Um, sometime in the late 60s, early 70s, uh, Unix, and then late, much later Linux, enabled an explosion of application development because you programmed the application for the operating system. And the part of Unix and Linux that's in almost every device coming out is the command set. So I'm going to teach the Linux command set, which is things like ls and cd and make directory and all that stuff. And then I am going to touch lightly on C because it's the granddaddy of most programming languages. Almost everything is at least program in C. And then I'm going to focus heavily on Python because it is the ideal language for both newbies or noobs, whatever the popular way of referring to people just starting out is these days, and for jaded experts. Python is really a language that is great for getting started and for taking you as far as you want to go because any part of a Python program that you make can be replaced by C and optimized. It's actually um, can be thought of as a uh, framework language for C. And if you never get past the framework part of it, then 
you're still doing very productive work. The only wild card in all this pi picture is exactly how popular JavaScript and a couple other technologies related to it, HTML5, CSS, and a few other things like called DOM, are inevitably the most important target platform in the world because you write one program, you can reach billions of people. So my technology education is going to focus in on some light education on things like switches. And then the lowest common denominator that's behind almost everything, which is the Unix slash Linux command set. I'm going to focus on Python because it's really going to help you be productive fast and go with you for your entire life. And then I am going to acknowledge and work in the fact that there's this other target platform that you're never going to get away from. It's maybe not the ideal uh, technical language to get started on, but you're not going to get away from it. So that's what I promise you with my technology education curriculum. By the way, I'm going for things that should serve you for 20 plus years. I'm going for avoiding obsolescence and fads. Fads. No.